G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. Today I'm looking at this, it's the Foxia Legend 1 action camera and it you know, looks a bit like a Mobius, it's one of these things you can stick on your model, get some high definition video, but the thing that this camera offers that none of the other, like the Mobius and the Runcam, none of those offer is, I'll show you in the box, it says on the box, 60 frames per second at 1080p. Now that's quite important because increasingly people are becoming aware that 60 frames a second offers much smoother, more fluid footage. And you can also slow it down without getting all jerky and choppy if you want to make things even slower and more fluid. So yeah, it's a really big feature. Also, this camera does up to 120 frames a second. So yeah, you can use it for doing those high speed stuff like a GoPro basically. So it's got some really nice features, but let's take a look at the camera itself. There it is. Gosh, it's black. Damn. Um, one thing I liked about the run cam was that they broke the mold in terms of color and made it a bright silver color so you could find it when it fell off in the grass. Now black really doesn't, not that easy to find. So I'd like to see this fluorescent orange, wouldn't you? If you think fluorescent orange would be a great color for an action camera on a model there or an FPV recording camera, then please say so in the comments and maybe the manufacturers will get a clue because run cam did. They listened and they made it a different color. Silver's still not my favorite. And the problem with the run cam, as I've mentioned before, is that this um, Velcro doesn't stick very well to it. The Velcro is forever coming off in a crash. So although I Velcroed it to the model, I end up with the camera gone and two bits of Velcro stuck together on the model. So if they could come up with, I mean, this has got the nice rubberized finish that we're used to finding on a Mobius. And that takes Velcro quite well. I've never had too much trouble with that sticking, but I do on the run cam. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. What are your experiences? But there we go, that's the camera looking at it. It's got obviously some heat sinking on here to release some of the heat that's generated by all that super heavy processing involved in producing 1080p at 60 frames a second. There is a micro SD slot in the side there which will take typically a class 10 card or better because you know 60 frames a second 1080p that's a lot of bits and you have to stuff them through pretty quick. On the back there is a USB mini, oh, mini USB connector on the right hand side there for your recharging and also for live video out. It comes with the lead. Where is it? Over here. Here's the lead that enables you to drag out live video. It looks like audio as well and run it from a remote power source all at once. Woohoo! That's nice. Also has an HDMI micro or mini HDMI output there so you can connect it straight up to an HDMI screen if you have one. Although I don't know why you would because you need a really long lead to reach from your model to the screen. There we go. Um, Operation is simple, just like all these things. You know, it's got a power button you turn it off and on. It also changes the mode. There are two video modes and a still mode. So you can have perhaps 1080p 60 frames a second and 720p 120 frames a second. You can switch between them without having to reprogram it. And you can have, then you have your still shots. And then of course you've got your shutter button, which either starts video recording or takes a single shot. Now there's also multiple shot modes. There's all sorts of stuff. Everything you expect from an action camera these days built into this thing. Uh, pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, I don't know what the, I think it's, they'd say it's about 150, 160 degree lens. We'll check that out, see what the field of view is. But I think what we should do now is just see how much it weighs because that's going to be really important. If you're going to throw this on a model, the weight of the camera becomes a factor in exactly what size of model and what type of model you can put it on. So here are my trusty scales and here's the on button. Let's see how much it weighs. Uh, okay, ta -da. 51 grams, 52 grams. 51 grams, 51 and a half grams, obviously. So that's not too bad. If we compare that to the Mobius with the wide angle lens, we'll see it's, hmm, what's that? It's about four grams, four and a half grams heavier. So that's not much, not much heavier than the Mobius. If you go to the Mobius with the standard lens, then it's actually down to 42 grams. So there you're looking at about 10 grams different. And if you go to the run cam, which is the lightest of all, I think, oh no, you're down to 43 grams. So yeah. That's pretty light as well. So it is heavier, but if we look something like the Xiaomi Yi, let's just do some comparison. The Xiaomi Yi, that's a whopping 69 grams. So it's lighter than the Xiaomi by a fair stretch, and it does 60p, and that's the big thing. One of the things that people are buying the Xiaomi for is because of the 60 frames a second, but you can get that same functionality in a much more aerodynamic package, which is brilliant, excellent. And to be honest, the Xiaomi Yi, I've never got mine to be sharp. It's never really looked like 1080p. It's always looked like, you know, you know, somewhere between 720 and 1080. So if this produces good colors, a good light handling, uh, and good resolution, I'll be chuffed to bits, but we'll find out. I have heard there have been some focus issues with these. I don't know what it is about Chinese manufacturers. They don't understand the concept of focus um, because the Xiaomi had real focus problem issues. And I did hear of some people having a few issues with this. We'll find out when we give it a test. 
But now I think we should do some more bench testing because that's why you come to this channel. Because what I'm going to do now is we're going to look and see just how much noise, how much noise this produces on the UHF band because that's an important consideration these days. A lot of people are using UHF for long range video and they don't want a camera that's going to blitz all over their video or their radio control signal and thus reduce their range. So let's get rid of the scales and bring out the spectrum analyzer. Right there we are, we're on 430 megahertz in the middle of the band there. So we're going from, what is it, um, 380 through to um, something else on the other side. Anyway, never mind. Um, I'm going to turn on the uh, Legend 1 now. Whoa, there you go. Bit of noise, bit of noise popped up there. You can see it's sitting there. Um, I'll turn it off so we can see what the difference is when it's off. There you go. So it has gone from a noise level of minus 108 decibels up to minus 98. So that's 10 decibels. That's quite a bit of noise. Quite a bit of noise. Now I'm going to press the record button and see if that makes a difference as well. Just made a bit of a blip. Hasn't really changed the noise floor. It's recording now. I shall stop it recording. And the battery's nearly flat, so I shall turn it off. So you can see, yes, there's quite a bit of noise from this camera. Okay, now we need to compare that to, for example, the Mobius. Now, here is a Mobius. Let's turn that on and we'll see the difference. Mobius is on. Well, the Mobius is about the same, different, different f type of noise. It's sort of got a ripple on it, but we're still, yeah, it's about 10 decibels of noise. So it's about the same noise level as Mobius. Um, I'll turn that Mobius off. Oops, there we go. And you can see the noise fall away again. So, yep, now I'm going to turn on the run cam. I think the run cam's nearly flat, but hopefully it'll work. Run cam is on. See, there's not as much noise from the run cam. That's what I found. It's got that copper flash inside, which really does reduce the noise. Turn the run cam off. And eventually it should stop, unless I haven't held the button down. Oh, I'll have to hold the button down longer. Here we go. Run cam off. Now I'm going to do the Mobius with the wide-angle lens. This is a slightly later model Mobius. Let's see if this makes any difference. Just turning it on. There we go. Ching. A couple of blips. And then there goes the noise. So no difference between the old Mobius and the new Mobius, or the different lenses of Mobius doesn't make a shred of difference and off right now the Xiaomi let's put that there just get these comparative frames of reference Xiaomi is coming on and it's got noise too yep they're all about the same to be honest apart from the run cam which really is a bit of a winner on the noise front turning the Xiaomi off let's see if I can hold the button down long enough for it to go off come on here we go boom there you go so yep I think the clear winner there is the is the run cam, as I've shown before. It's really a low noise camera compared to the rest, but this is pretty much on a par with the Mobius and uh, and the Xiaomi. So yeah, um, if you've been using a Mobius without problems, you'll be able to use this without problems. Now the spectrum analyzer is telling me it's time to charge the battery, so I'll turn that off. Okay, so coming up very shortly when I do my flight day, we'll be doing some testing. In fact, what I'll do is I'll take that out. And I'll put that in. So I'm going to do some comparison. I'm going to strap these all to a decent sized quad. We'll go out there, we'll get exactly the same footage from the Legend 1, from the Run Cam, from the Mobius, from the Xiaomi, and also, which you can't fit in here, the Turnigy Action Camera, the Wi Fi version of the Turnigy Action Camera, which is the SJ Cam. So we'll do all of those from the one frame at the one time and hopefully give you an idea of how they vary and differ in performance. So that's a pretty major. The quad will have to be pretty big to lift all those. The weight adds up over time anyway. There you go. So questions, comments, put them on the bottom of this video in the space kindly provided by YouTube. I will do my best to answer them. And if you've got anything in particular you want to see on flight day, then please ask below and I'll do my best to uh, accommodate you. And as I say, if you'd like to see these in fluorescent yellow or orange, then say so in the comments and maybe the manufacturers will listen and we'll get some action cameras that you can find when they fall off in the grass. Thank you for watching. Time to clear the bench. Get on with more reviews from RC Model Reviews. Bye for now.